We got this art from John's dad for Christmas because he's a nice guy. I hope it works! Ow! Hey, welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Tonight we're making chicken fried steak. For Tom Brokaw, probably not the TV anchor. He's been requesting this for like 20 years and we're finally gonna make it. So this, uh, I, I've never made this before and we're not gonna make a traditional version. We're gonna make a low carb version, which means we're gonna bread the steak <laughs> with more meat. So let's start preparing things. Instead of flour, you can use pork rinds, apparently. I think they smell weird. Oh shit. Oh god. Let's see how it treats us. Oh wow, that has like a lot more volume than I thought it would. Look at that. Oh man, that's smelly. It smells weird. Pork pork rinds are weird. <laughs> They're really weird. Okay, that seems like Probably good enough. Smell like dog food. <laughs> Jesus. Um, to this, we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Actually, I'm gonna hold off on that for a second. I'm gonna start cooking the gravy because that's actually gonna take longer than frying this. So I've got a pound of pork breakfast sausage here, and uh, so we'll we'll start browning that. Oh, isn't that delightful? All right. I take a big hunk of butter. Yeah. Throw that in the gravy what will eventually be the gravy. And you need a, a spoon to poke at it eventually. Appetizing. All right, so now we'll get some cheese, which we have here. Finally shred some Parmesan. That seems like a good amount. So we'll just put it in there, and hopefully that covers the smell of the pork rinds. Dirty bastards. Gross. Um, onion power. Make sure you get the power kind. Paprika. Garlic. Oh shit, that was a lot. And some cayenne. Probably don't need much salt because the pork rinds are already salty. We'll give that another whirl. Okay. And we need to put it on a plate. Oh man. This is probably way too much for the little cube steaks we have. We'll have to save it as a snack. Okay. This is going to be a different kind of gravy, especially since it's sticking in the pan and I'm just stuck at everything. But since you're trying to make a low carb fried piece of shit, you might as well have some like low carb gravy, which is really just cream. <laughs> it's really not gravy, but we'll, we'll show you that. Okay, let's make our egg wash. So we're going to crack an egg in a bowl. We're going to add some cream and whip it. We got some fancy cream. Got that cream top. That was fine. So this is going to be what we dredge the steaks in before the breading. Anytime you have breading and frying and stuff, you have like, you want a station, so you're like, egg bath, and then breading, analog, and then fryer. Like we did in schnitzel. Doo -doo -doo! We're going to get the fryer going. Some oil, and because uh, we're country cooking, I just gotta keep adding different fats. So, just some bacon grease. <laughs> there you go, baby. Uh, what else can we add, butter? Might as well. Let's add some butter. That's how your grandparents ate, right? <laughs> they lived a while. I would use some of that pork fat too, but I gotta use that for the gravy. Okay, so we're using a really cheap cut of steak. It's called a cube steak. So what cube steak is, is like cheap ass meat that they ran through a mechanical tenderizer. It's very questionable, but that's what you use for this dish. So, you could do it. Sausage is coming along. Smells like breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna put mushrooms in the gravy. And if we were doing this your grandpa's way, we'd put canned mushrooms in. Well, we gotta retain some dignity. I don't know why, but we do. Criminal mushrooms. All right, cremini. Cremini, houdini, linguini. Ooh, these mushrooms are smelly. Oh no, I think I'll smell the pork rinds. <laughs> and I'm gonna mince a little onion, just enough for some flavor. Oh man, this knife always makes me think I'm gonna chop my fingers off. I'm glad that hasn't happened yet. All right, sausage is about done. We'll go ahead and pull that out. For now. You wanna retain the grease? That's gonna be part of our gravy. So much help tonight. All right, more butter? So why not? And we'll put our veggies in. Mm. Some garlic, 
I'm gonna let these cook down for a little bit. The pan's pretty f No surprise. God right, dang. <laughs> what happened? I can't believe we're making this. <laughs> so many animal products. Probably gonna be a couple minutes here. Yeah, probably. We're just gonna let these cook down for a little bit. So, we got some nice brown shrooms and onions, and we're gonna add cream, and we're gonna let this go for quite a while until it cooks down into a gravy. That was like a pint, so you want to mix it up nice. Actually, maybe I'll add a little bit more. We'll salt it. And then we want this to be heated. So I'm going to briefly have it on high just to get the temperature up. But we really want it to simmer and so it can thicken up. You don't want to burn your cream, that would be awful. And then once it thickens up a bit, we'll add the sausage back in. So you could eat sausage on your deep fried steak. With cream. If you wanted to do like a more traditional gravy, you could just add flour and it would be very thick. You can see the on the outside starting to bubble there. And it'll go from the outside in, so that's all bubbly. So then we'll turn it down pretty low. A little bit of small bubbles is okay. Probably like that. Let it start reducing. That's all for now. Okay, so you can see with our cream, it's starting to thicken up and you can tell by like there's like stuff on top. It's bubbly in a different kind of way. You need to shut the f up. So now that it's this point, we're gonna add our sausage back in. Yum yum. And we'll try to break that up some. This is gonna be <laughs> pretty tasty. <laughs> okay, so we'll just let that keep bubbling with the sausage. Should be yummy. Well, let's do the steak. Cubed beef. Or is it weird? All right, so I got one and I got two. I think I'm gonna pat them dry. It's like ground beef that's still hanging together. It's weird. All right, egg wash first. Nice egg bath. Okay, and then, oh, f we bread it, I mean pork it, and we're gonna drop it in. I'm gonna use tongs. <laughs> I'm scared. Here we go. All right, so there's one side. You see it's violently boiling. That means we need to probably turn the heat down a little bit. Get our other steak. Oh boy, oh boy. What could be better? All right, so just a couple minutes on each side. We'll flip them over. My hands are disgusting. I swear to God, just like, how many animal products can you fit in one meal? So we'll go ahead and flip that over. Man, that actually looks pretty good. You know, like for what it is, which is kind of gross. Ignatius! I don't have anything to say to you. Come on then, be quiet. Yeah, roof to you too. I think that could go longer. Looks kind of raw on the inside. I might have to flip them again, because I think I flipped it too soon the first time. But they look passable for something like chicken fries. <laughs> this is so stupid. Let's give them another flip. I'm just worried, you know, because I don't know what I'm doing. Can you see how big gulabi gravy? It's really kind of like a sausage and cream sauce. That's fine. And our steaks here, we'll pull them out and let them rest and hope that they're done. There's red juice coming out. We'll put them back in. <laughs> nah, we'll let it go. I'm sure like the traditional way of eating this is like extra well done. Uh, maybe we can sneak a peek without completely f***ing it up. Uh, yeah, okay, that looks done. Okay, so turn off the gravy for now. And I'm gonna top one of them with gravy and one without so we can see how they are both ways. Here's our really healthy sausage gravy. Man, oh man, this meal will make you live forever, okay? First, just the steak. It's hard to cut. Good news, we cooked it all the way. I like it. A little bit tough. Now with some help. That's really good. Better with the sauce. Well, broke on time. I hope you're happy. Thanks to everybody else too who wanted this to happen. They finally did. Bye.